events of the day so we've got a sort of an idea of what actually happened today. So, look, it was uh, an interesting morning. Uh, a few people squirrelling around the place, to be honest. It was, um, got up, started our meeting with the coaches and halfway through that, um, we got the word through that uh, Queensland was going into the lockdown that it is, or it has, sorry. So, uh, th <coughs> things quickly changed from there, didn't they? So, got got some messages from the AFL from there to suggest that uh, the game up there was postponed, that we weren't, the, the thing that we were sure of was that we weren't going to Queensland and from there it was working out where the game could be played, if it could be played this weekend. So what are the, what are the total consequences to Port Adelaide? What's it mean tomorrow? What's it mean the day after? Well, so the reality of tomorrow is that we, we're just not flying up to Queensland to play this game at Metricon and and now the game gets played at Marvel Stadium. So uh, moves moves back from, I think, 3.10 to 6.10. Uh, from there, it'll mean that uh, we won't get home now tomorrow night and it's most likely we'll fly back into Adelaide on Monday morning. Have you got that confirmed that you can return to Adelaide on Monday? Yeah, we're aware of um, the exemptions that uh, both us and Adelaide have in order for us to return. Um, but obviously, first and foremost, we've got a job to, to get done tomorrow. Good news of that, that you just repeat the routine you had against Collingwood, that it's like a game that you, no travel, same routine you had against Collingwood, so it's pretty simple for you? Well, yeah, leaving last week was probably the hard part and, and the early part of, um, yeah, you know, the time here was probably the the betting in of of the players and staff was the most important thing to get right. You know, I think our our staff have done an amazing job. You know, the the media team who are here, um, you know, Trent Henschel from an operations perspective, our coaches, high performance team. You know, to make sure that the players are well prepared. Um, I think our players have shown incredible resilience to get through what was you know, a pretty long week. Obviously we're playing last Friday night and then um, having to wait till Sunday you know, and having a little bit of extra time here to, to think hasn't been overly easy, but at the same time, you know, we've only really been away you know, by the end of it for a couple of weeks, so we can't complain that much, can we? The captain's run all clear there or any issues there? No, they're all fine. So, um, Fantasia will, will play tomorrow, which is a great thing for us to uh, to have him back. You know, adds a different dimension to the group. Anyone else? Oh, look, we, we would have liked to um, have been able to go up and play on the Gold Coast. I wouldn't have mind to sum myself up in the Gold Coast either for seven, seven or eight hours. Um, weather hasn't been great here and it's, it's obviously better up there. But uh, look, seriously, I, you know, we're fine uh, you know, from, from our perspective to not have to get up and fly in on the day of the game is a good outcome, despite the fact that I think we're the club who's done it the most in the comp competition. Yeah, you know, we think we would have been able to to do that tomorrow, but yeah, you know, we'll obviously not having to do it is is a good thing for us. I'll just get Hazy to mute his, uh, his speaker. Um, it's all mostly all uh, about Hazy, isn't it? Oh, look, the last, the last week and a half has probably been <laughs> crazy for us. Uh, you know, there's no doubt having to, you know, pack things up and, and get out of your state within a short period of time is a, is a challenge. Today was interesting. I mean, I, I guess I got to a point this morning where you, you almost stopped speculating on what could happen in your wait for 
the AFL who have done a fantastic job to tell you what will happen. So, you know, we, we were, by the end, we were training by the time um, the AFL can confirm to us what they thought was most likely to, to occur. <clears throat> so we got through that training session and, and got back to the hotel and things have been relatively smooth from there. We, we've had another, um, coming up with another COVID test. Um, we, we had one yesterday. Um, yeah, we'll have we'll have dinner, settle into a team meeting, and um, and we'll go from there. Yeah, well, that, that's the that's the challenge for all clubs right now is to maintain that level of flexibility. And I think for a long time, as I say, I, I think our club um, probably hasn't got the credit that it's due for for doing that uh, in a manner where we've managed to get results, but also not whinge. So, um, yeah, that's something that I, I think ultimately, yeah, we can be proud of when we look back, but. We also know that our, our great challenge is to continue to get the results that the team wants in order to finish the minor round in a way that positions ourselves well to enter into the final series. And, you know, Fantasia coming back is, is a pretty significant step. Obviously, you saw the players who returned to our team last week. Um, it was great to get them back. Obviously, you know, we'll have to integrate them back into the way that our team plays. But... Yeah, you know, there's also potential for Rob and and Mots to come back down the track as well. So, yeah, you know, I think to to be in the position that we are, uh, with the opportunity to be better, yeah, you know, I think we're pretty well placed. And time will tell. But uh, we've got to get those players back in and playing well because we know that um, we need those players um, when the uh, the whips are cracking. Not at this stage. Obviously, for, for us to be going up to that area, we've had to lock down here for a period of time. I know that GWS, Sydney, the teams up there have obviously been in similar situations. So I think the, the chance of um, any of those teams who are flying down to Victoria at the moment being in uh, areas which you know, are deemed to be... Um, you know, hot spots or contact spots, whatever you want to call them, you know, will be, will be minimal. And as I say, you know, for our period of time here, we've obviously been here for a week and a half, um, but our people have known that they've been required to minimise their movements. Um, and the last two days, we've effectively been locked here in the hotel. Well, I think the AFL have, have released that there's going to be, and both teams, I imagine, are going... Well, I, I'm not sure what Adelaide's travel schedule is, but we're certainly going home on Monday. So on the basis that they are too, I think that the game is most likely going to be in Adelaide. Well, look, I think in fairness to, to SA Health, you know, um, the protocols that we need to ad adhere to, you know, will um, most likely be reviewed, you know, throughout the next period of time, including, as you just highlighted then, for the potential to play, um, you know, the showdown in Adelaide on Saturday night. But the, the first thing that we'll have to do when we get home is, is spend a period of time 
uh, in our houses, isolating, only coming out to go to the club you know, for, for rehab or training purposes. Uh, and then I'm sure that, um, as I say, SA Health will, will look at whatever needs to happen from there if, if we're able to um, spend some time into the community or not. But the, the challenge for us and, and really the first and foremost port of call for us is to make sure that we can at the very least leave our houses in order to go to training and train and then return home as any professional support sporting team uh, needs to be able to do. That's the reason why we left Adelaide in the first place is that you know that that wasn't granted to either Adelaide or us uh, and I guess if that was to change obviously you know both clubs would have to review it but uh, for right now you know when we get home um, we we think you know well, we've, it's been confirmed that we'll be able to isolate leave the club and go to training and then and then come home we but we do know that we've got a job to do tomorrow first before we worry about anything else Well, I think everyone would like a little bit of notice uh, in order to get these decisions made, but that, that's not me being critical of, of any government. You know, we, we know that government responsibility doesn't revolve around whether um, football or sporting games can go ahead. It revolves around what's best for the public in that particular state. So on the basis that that was right for Queensland, the AFL have had to make some moves from there and in fairness I think they've done an amazing job today to to sort things out so that it looks like we'll get through a full round of games and, and they should um, you know feel really comfortable that they've been able to do that and that there's um, spots in Australia where these things can continue to go ahead but I think you know what the the footy managers across the competition in fairness you know what the players have across the competition is a willingness to do what's needed in order to make sure that the, uh, the competition continues and that you know, our responsibility is to get that done in, in as best fashion as we possibly can and, and as I say, roll with the punches.